right, uh, good day everyone. Yeah, welcome to uh, tutorial class today. Uh, in our class today, I'm quickly going to be introducing us to um, Kim Draw Professional. Yeah, uh, one of uh, the essential softwares um, you need to know or have as a computational biologist or a bioinformatician. Yeah, very much interested in um, several modeling, drug discovery, designs, and all that. Yeah, you seriously need um, this particular tool because it's very, very essential in most of what you are going to be doing, yeah, as a researcher. All right, quickly in this video, I'm going to be putting us through, um, you know, a few things in this software. And uh, in our subsequent videos, you're going to be seeing the loss of things you can actually do with this tool. So that when you run into any kind of challenge, um, especially with sourcing of your materials or your resources for your research work, uh, precisely in silico studies, um, this could be a very important tool for you to go about that. All right, quickly, this uh, is the software when you launch it. Um, if you don't have this software and um, you are uh, a subscriber of our channel, you are very free to indicate in the comment section. And then a copy of this software will be sent to you free of charge. Um, yes, yeah, so you can have that installed in your software, in your system, and um, you can easily make use of it. All right, so quickly, um, when you launch the software, this is what you have. All right, this is the interface of the software. Just like many other softwares, um, you have lots of options here um, to perform one duty or the other. The first one we look at here is the file. Of course, just like in other softwares, you have your file where you can open new document, you can open, you know, your files, you can open sheets and all that, and all that you can as well save and all that from this particular option, just like um, you do in several other computational biology tools or computational chemistry tools. All right, so after your file, you had your edit. Yeah, we might not have um, some of these options from what you will see would be highlighted because there is nothing in the interface here. All right, there's nothing in the interface here. We've not started working with anything yet. All right, so but when you start working some of these, for instance, you can edit anything here because there is certainly nothing here to, you know, edit and all that. So this is what we have. We have the edit, we have the view. All right, view is where um, you can highlight some buttons, some options, you know, that will make you make your working so easy for you. For instance, uh, this show, this main toolbar is a very important option you will need to have um, in your interface so you can easily access that. So once you click on that, you can see these options here. All right, I'll still tell us a um, few things about this option soon. All right, so you have your view. That's where I just highlighted that. You can highlight as many, including your templates, which we're going to see soon. Then we move to the objects. Object is where you must have drawn something here, or you're working on a chart here, or you're working on, you know, a graphical abstract here. Yeah, you have um, a lot of things here highlighted that you can actually work on them. You also have your structure here. Um, which you certainly make use of, especially this particular option. All right, your structure button here, you will need that as a computational biologist because you certainly be doing a lot with structures here. It's one of the major uh, use of this particular tool, all right, for your structure drawings, uh, estimation, predictions, and calculations. All right, you have your text, you have your curves, your color, and all that, just like you have in every other software. So in your uh, own time, you can take time to go through that uh, so we don't spend too many time, all right, in this introductory video. All right, so quickly, um, this main toolbar is a very important, um, you know, working options for us uh, in this particular software. 
the first uh, two you see is for your highlighting or for selecting. All right, assuming I have um, this structure, just by clicking on it and double clicking here, I'll have this drawn. All right, assuming I have this, this particular first option is just for your highlighting. All right, you can use that to highlight irregular shapes. All right, just by double clicking and dragging, you can highlight irregular shape. But as you can see, we just have a regular shape here. Whereas the second is just for highlighting purely regular shapes. All right, so the same as you just have in order. So these um, ones you can see here, these are, you know, um, bonds you can make use of in your chemical formula um, or structure drawing. Take, for instance, this is a single bond. All right, just by placing it here and drawing, I have a single bond here. This is a double bond. Just by placing it here and drawing, I have a double bond. And remember, um, you should have a little bit idea of the structure you are drawing. For instance, carbon can only have uh, four bonds because it has four, you know, unpaid electrons. So if you add any bond here, uh, again, of course, it won't work. Take, for instance, if I add a single bond here, I'll have a red coloration here telling me that I've exceeded the needed bond here. So when you are drawing your own compounds and this is what you experience, then you should know that you have um, to check properly because you've made a mistake somewhere. So I can do Ctrl C to take that off. All right, so that is what we have here. All these are what you can make use of, all right, in making your drawing or your drawings. You can see the arrow button as well, all right, just um, as many of them. All right, but one more important thing I want to show us here is the template uh, menu. The template menu is very, very important. So I will simply highlight this and then I'll get rid of all of them by highlighting and clicking on delete from your keyboard, you get rid of them. So each of these, uh, your mouse is on, you simply right click. When you right click, you see some option. All right, you see some option. Among the options you will see is your template. All right. Aside this particular option by right clicking on this, if you still go to your view, you will still find your template down here. All right. So, whichever way is the same thing. So, I have templates here. This template, because of the uh, updated version of this software, you will discover that you can have or access some already drawn templates for your work. All right, well, highly resoluted templates. Take, for instance, I want to draw uh, bio instruments, all right, of course, such as um, my microscope and all that. What do you do? Simply click on that, and then you have your drawing this way. You can see how resoluted this is. These are your test tubes and test tube rack. You just draw them this way. Can you see that? So, this is what you have as your what? As your drawings. All right, and you can easily, you know, take this into any kind of, um, uh, you know, study you're doing or graphical abstract. I will show us an example um, later on uh, before the end of this video. All right, so these templates are very, very important. There are many of them. There are many of them. You can see exosis, functional groups, DNA templates. All right, many of them. So you just take your time and then um, find whichever one you're working with. All right, and all that. These are including bio arts and all that. So you see all these here. All right, so these are for your templates, uh, especially when you're drawing your graphical abstract. However, when you're drawing your objects or your chemical compounds, all right, which um, we won't go into more details here, but when you want to draw your chemical uh, compound, just like I've mentioned before, and you want not to use these compounds here or these structures here to make your drawing, take for instance, you want to draw a quercetin compound, all right, or, or you have a particular synthesized compound, you have identified the name, all right, and you want to draw the structure here. What do you simply do? Instead of using this one after the other, you could as well go to the structure and go to what to convert name to structure. If you convert them to structure, take for instance, I have my name as quercetin. All right. If I highlight on this option, it tells me to paste the name 
of this particular name under the structure so i can highlight that and then click ok once i do that this structure is what is drawn this way however in few cases you might discover that the the common name you know for the structure you know might not be a generally acceptable uh, common name for such compound or structure so what do you do you simply get the iopac name of that same compound uh, online by googling it all right and then come this place to draw using the uh, the iopac name or iopac nomenclature instead of just the common name all right and with that you have drawn any compound of your choice and all that so from here you can simply um highlight this way and then right click you can copy and all that to your whatever document you're working with be it your slide be it your ms word and all that and the same way just like i've mentioned before because we have a drawn object here a lot of um options will be highlighted here if you go to your structure now you can see that there are actually lots you can do here for instance, you can clean up this particular structure, all right? You can clean up this particular structure. If this is not the right, you know, orientation of this particular structure, you can clean it up. If I clean this up, you discover that, you know, it has placed this particular structure better for me, all right? This is how it's supposed to appear. So that's what it just did. Um, there are many things or options you can, all right, work with here. There are many estimations and predictions as well you can do here. For instance, the hydrogen 1 NMR shift of this uh, compound, you can perform that. You can predict as well the carbon 13 NMR shift of that. Take, for instance, if I click on this single one, this is what it will give me. Of course, it will tell me the quality estimates all right, of this particular compound. You can see this. All these are obtainable here, which is not what... Um, you know, we are likely going to lay more emphasis on today. So I'll just quickly um, take this off. All right. So um, this is what I have. Okay. Let me put up that structure again. Um, all right. So this is what we have. So there are many things like I've mentioned you can do here. All right. So once you have the name, you can simply go ahead to you know, draw the structure or do for whatever you want to do with that. And not just structure, you can use that as well for your graphical abstract drawing. Yes, you want to draw your workflow, you want to draw your graphical abstract, a summary of your research work is very, very important. So many people use this bio render for drawing. However, if you are not on subscription on bio render, you might have some challenges assessing some of, you know, the advanced um, options in that particular tool. And just like many other online um, graphical drawing tools, all right, unless you are on their subscription, you might not have full access to all their options there. However, this can help you. This software, you can have great access to any, you know, of these structures you want to draw. I'll give us an example of, an abstract I am a graphical abstract I am recently working on. All right, I will simply go to this place to find that it should be in my um, download. Uh, so quickly, I will just show us that as an example of what I'm trying to say. This is an example of that. I drew this um, using this particular software from scratch to finish. I drew this using this. Um, can draw from scratch to finish. So this is what you can have, all right, while working in, on tools like this. And all are free at your reach. Remember, of course, you can as well, you know, get, at, get uh, you know, pictures or images or whatsoever, all right, from the internet or wherever, and you want to paste it here, you can as well paste. Take, for instance, you're looking for a particular structure or a particular, um, you know, picture of, uh, something take for instance the picture of this you know oil contaminated site i downloaded that from the internet i still imported it here you know to work with the same with this uh, lead lamp and all that so these are part of um you know the numerous uh research workings all right you can do using this particular tool and like i said they are made they are all free all right you don't need to you know, uh, pay for that if you are, you know, part of uh, 
subscribe subscribers like i mentioned earlier if you're one of us or you subscribe to this channel you're very very free to drop your comment uh you know indicate on the comment section that you need the software if in any way you don't have the software simply indicate in the comment section that you need the software and this software will be sent to you free of charge you get it installed in your so in your system you can use it for diverse purposes like i've mentioned earlier drawing of graphical abstract drawing of chemical compounds you know drawing of all kinds of uh chemical reactions all right chemical reactions chemical formulas and all that you can use this to to draw them perfectly well and after your drawing you can easily copy by highlighting into your what your um working document be it powerpoint for your presentation or ms word uh, for your article or thesis preparation and all that so a whole lot of the detailed uh, things we can do with this particular tool all right will be highlighted in our next video um uh, so we're going to see very shortly so thank you for um joining us in this particular video and uh, for any inquiry or comment observation feel free to uh, drop it on the comment section and that will be attended to thank you and see you in our next video